Chinook are the largest of the Columbia River salmon. These fish can grow over 50 pounds and 5 feet long. No wonder they're called king salmon. Chinook spend from 1 to 7 years in the ocean, then return to spawn. You can see Chinook on our ladders from March to November. Steelhead are similar to rainbow trout, except they migrate to the ocean. Classified as salmon, a steelhead can spawn several times during its life cycle. You can see them in our fish ladders from March until November, but the big runs are in August. You can identify a steelhead by its torpedo shape and a pinkish rainbow on its side. Coho salmon can be recognized by their silvery color. That's why they're often called silver salmon. Coho spend from one to three years in the ocean, then spawn mostly in the lower tributaries of the Columbia. They migrate in the fall. The life cycle of a sockeye is a little different from most salmon. They spend their first year in a lake, then head to the ocean. Sockeye are small salmon, averaging five to seven pounds. They migrate past Bonneville Dam in June and July. Pacific lamprey look like eels, but they are actually a primitive fish. Like salmon, lamprey migrate to the ocean. Once there, these parasites attach to other fish and drink their bodily fluids. In late spring, lampreys swim upriver to spawn. They rest by attaching to rocks with their mouths. Lamprey are valuable. They are important to the culture of local tribes, a food source for animals, and after they die, their decaying bodies provide nutrients to streams. Shad are related to herring. They migrate like salmon, but don't always die after spawning. The shad in our ladders are not native fish. In 1871, the young of these Atlantic fish were placed in milk jugs, carried by train to the Sacramento River, then released. Today, these fish are established in rivers all over the West Coast. <laughs> 